In this video, we're going to talk about the Beef of Feasibility project that we've just started. Hello everyone, I'm Dee and I'm the Beaver Feasibility Coordinator for Gloucestershire Wildlife Trust. So what is a beaver? Well, it's the world's second largest rodent, second only to the capybara. Um, it's well known for its industrious behaviour, building dams to hold back water that they feel safe in, and gnawing trees to obtain nutrients from the bark and to obtain building material for those dams. They're semi-aquatic and social animals living in territorial family groups alongside rivers and lakes. Most of us have never seen a beaver, so you might wonder if they're native. Well, in fact, they are. Um, they were once widespread across Europe, but sadly they were overexploited for their meat, for their really soft fur, and for their secretions, which were used as an early form of aspirin and in perfumes. Beavers have been extinct in this country for several hundred years, but they're now making a comeback. There are several populations living wild in a few scattered locations across the UK, as well as increasing numbers of populations in licensed enclosures. So why are beavers being reintroduced? British wildlife and rivers are in dire straits and climate change is piling more and more pressure on both nature and people as we see milder, wetter winters and hotter, drier summers. We need solutions that regulate the flow of water, reducing the severity of those floods and droughts. And beaver dams are a really effective and cheap way of doing that, keeping water further back upstream for longer and filtering that water as well. We also need habitat restoration at a landscape scale in order to improve species resilience. Beavers create incredible complex wetlands that benefit a whole range of species from birds to bats to dragonflies to frogs and more. So there's great potential for beavers to um, help us fight the climate and ecological crises and that's why more and more beavers are being reintroduced around the country. So what is this project about? Well, we want to build up a picture of what it might be like to have and live alongside beavers in Gloucestershire. So the feasibility study is looking at a range of factors, including whether there is enough suitable habitat for a sustainable population, and how beavers might impact the people, species and habitats that are already here. The information we gather will help determine whether or where beavers could be released, and how to successfully coexist if and when they do arrive. So why do we need a feasibility study? Well, it's important in any species reintroduction to consider every, every factor carefully, to understand any potential impacts as well as the benefits. Critically, land use has changed a lot since the last time beavers were here, so a key part of the study will be identifying where the impacts of beavers might need to be managed, such as by protecting culverts or preventing them from entering certain areas. We'll be talking to people to find out their views, and we'll be forming a stakeholder partnership to ensure that those who might be directly impacted are represented and part of the process. If the feasibility study does identify areas that might be suitable for wild beaver releases, then a further stage of consultation and community engagement will be required, as well as approval from Natural England. Any release could be undertaken by Gloucestershire Wildlife Trust, our partners Forestry England, or any other interested organisations, either individually or as a partnership. If you're interested in finding out more, keep an eye out for updates or go to our website and type in Beaver. Thanks to everyone who supported Project Beaver.